So now we have opened the block editor and in the my blocks part as you can see we have entries for ball, paddle, start button, all the components that we have added to our canvas. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write down the program corresponding to the start button. What I want the start button to do is when I click the start button we want to position the ball towards the center of the canvas. We want to make it move towards the top to start with and then whenever it reaches an edge it should bounce off the edge. So I'll go to this start button and I'll, I'll drag this when start button clicked. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is change the color of the ball which is right now set to black to green. So I'll look for set ball dot paint color and I'm going to left click over here select color and I'll select green. So that will initially whenever we hit the start button make the color of the ball to be green. We also want the position of the ball to start with somewhere near the center of the screen. So I'll go back to ball and I'll look for ball.x and ball.y. Set ball.x and set ball.y and that will let us set the initial position of the ball. So I'll add those two as well. I'll left click here, select math and then this number one to three and I'll set my x value to 150 and my y value to 200. Now the next thing that we are going to do is set the initial direction of the ball. In App Inventor the initial direction of any sprite is called heading. So whatever the direction whatever the value of heading is that's where that sprite is headed. The value heading is a value between 0 and 360. If the value heading is 0 that means the sprite is moving towards the right. If it is 90 the sprite is moving towards top. If it is 180 the sprite is moving towards the left and if it is 270 the sprite is moving towards the bottom. So I'll go to ball. I'll look for set ball dot heading to I'll drag that. Then I'll click here, math, and then I'll select random integer. And I'll set the value to be 45 to 135. So that will make the ball headed towards somewhere towards the top of the screen to start with. We will also set some other values we will set ball.interval to 10 and ball.speed to 10. And finally, we will set ball.enabled to true. I'll left click here, select logic and then true. So what this does is ball.interval as this help menu says is the interval at which the sprite position is updated and the speed determines how much the updation happens by how many pixels the updation happens and all those things happen only well only when the ball is enabled if the ball is disabled the ball's position doesn't change if the ball is enabled is set to true then on the other hand what this means is every 10 millisecond the ball's position will change by 10 pixels and that will happen in a direction dictated by the head value of heading. So that's what the start button does. It initializes the ball.